Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover adding buttons to your Looker Studio report. Google has added features for buttons that will allow users to perform a few different actions. And these include navigating to another website, obtaining a report link or downloading the report, resetting the report filters, and applying filters to your report. If you go to the edit mode, you can add a control and here's where you will find the button option. Once you choose the button option, you can drag on the report canvas to add your button. And in the button properties, make sure the source, the data source is correct. Choose the action for the button. You have three action types that you can apply to buttons. You have navigation where you can link to other web pages or other pages in your report. Yes, you do have the navigation that you can edit. If you go to theme and layout in the layout section, you can choose the different navigation type here. We have the tabs on the top, but with buttons, you can link to specific pages in your report. If you want to add a link to your button, click on insert link and you can paste the link or type it in the field here, or you can use dynamic page links, no matter if you add pages or delete pages, you can choose any of these options first, previous, next, last. And you can also link to specific pages in this report by choosing the page title. So when you configure the link, then you can navigate, use the button to navigate, and it'll bring you to the link that you specify. You can choose a report action for the button, and this includes inviting other users, getting a report link, downloading the report, and resetting filters. If you set the button to obtain a report link, it'll bring up this pop-up modal and you can copy the link here. If you choose to apply a download action for the button, then it'll bring up this pop-up modal where you can configure the settings for the PDF download. You can choose if you want to select all pages or specific pages or any other additional options that you want to configure. You can set your button action to filter so that when a user clicks on that button, it filters the entire page according to the filter that you configured. The thing is, configuring this filter isn't as straightforward as configuring a filter for any other element in your report. In order to configure this properly, you need to use a Boolean calculated field. So in this control field section, click on add control field and click create field. If you want to create a filter for a country or browser or whatever dimension, name that accordingly. We already have a button filter for Chrome browsers, so let's call this Samsung Browser Boolean. And in the formula, you're going to use a function that returns a true or false condition. And you can find a list of functions for Looker Studio in this documentation linked in the description. You basically want to look for any description where it starts with returns true if so for example there are these functions contains underscore text ends underscore with they start with returns true if and there are some other functions with regex that you can use for this calculated field so for this formula, we're going to type regex contains and for the first argument, 
that'll be our dimension browser comma and then the expression so we'll look for Samsung because we're looking for any browsers with the text Samsung in it. Now for the type, we want it to change to Boolean, but we'll just apply it first and it'll automatically change it for us. And if we go to our view mode, We'll reset this so right now we have 48 page views and if we click on our new button for our Samsung browser filter it changes to five page views and if we look at traffic for Chrome browsers it changes the page views to 41 once you've configured the setup for your button click on the button text and rename it. So we'll call this Samsung browser traffic. And then you can click on style in the button properties and style your button as you please. So we'll change the background color to match all the other buttons. And you can change the rounding for the corners as well as these other settings. Let's select these filter buttons and move these down a bit and then let's add a section title with this text box and we'll call this filters. Let's bold that so it stands out. When you go to the view mode and use your filter buttons you can see that the ones that are toggled on have a background color with a darker shade let's also create a button to reset the filters so let's click on an existing button copy it and paste it and then drag it to the bottom here and then we'll rename it reset filters and for the button action type click on report actions and then for the report action for the button choose reset filters now when we go to our view mode we see that these filters are enabled for the report but when we click on reset filters it toggles those filters off and brings the report back to the default mode. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.